What up, blockheads? Blockheads. <laughs> What's up, guys? So uh, we got Javi and Reese in here working on the bike. Saudi. Oh. And while they're doing that, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do an unboxing on this brand new safety helmet from Shoei. All right, so as all of you guys know, I've been looking for a new helmet for a while. I've complained quite a bit about the helmet that I'm currently wearing to record this vlog. Uh, on the Harley, it's great for an upright, but for the CBR, it is not so good because the viewport is more down. I looked at a bunch of helmets, tried a bunch of helmets on. This was one of them that won me over for sure. The Shoei RF 1200. I posted up a poll on Instagram, and you guys overwhelmingly voted for Shoei. So here we are. I went with the Shoei because it has more features, such as pin lock. Boom, right there. If you guys don't know what pin lock is, it's a way to keep the lens from fogging up. It's freaking amazing. This episode is brought to you guys by Get Lowered Cycles. If you guys haven't heard of Get Lowered Cycles, they have sponsored a couple of my videos. Be sure to go check them out at getlowered.com. They've got all sorts of different stuff on their website, tons of different cruiser parts, exhaust, helmets, jackets, like all the gear that you could ever think of. I've gotten battery tenders from them. I picked up this helmet from them. I actually reached out, asked if they could get Shoei. They then reached out to Shoei, set up a partnership with them, and boom, we got a Shoei. So if you guys go to the website, you put in an order for over $100, you get a free t-shirt. Big shout out to uh, the guys over at Get Lowered. Thank you guys once again for sponsoring an episode. And to all my subscribers, y'all be sure to go check them out. They've been one of the best sponsors on the channel so far. They've really reached out and helped out both myself. And then they've also helped uh, some of the Blockhead crew with parts as well. So really solid crew over there at Get Lowered. Y'all be sure to go check them out. Like I said, link right here, getlowered.com. All right, back to the unboxing. So this is the first time I've actually opened this box. I did order a gold lens with it because, you know, we got to do black and gold. Traditional blackhead fashion. Is that it? I think that's it. So, uh, box. Javi with the assist. Oh, hold on. <laughs> is there no one else? <laughs> that's morbid. <laughs> Anyways. Alright, so let's unbag this thing. All right, there we go. Man, that's a nice quality bag, dude. Oh, hell yes. Woo All right, so I didn't go matte. All of my previous helmets have been matte. I went uh, gloss this time, but it is like this gloss, and it has this shine to it, like this metallic kind of finish. I'm not sure how well you guys are going to be able to see that. But it is super nice. Pretty lightweight. So it is the Shoei RF 1200. It does have the pin lock lens in it has vents up top brow vent vents here vent here chin vent right there all easy to operate with gloves i love how tight the um shield clicks into places super easy to change the shields on these as well pull down and out same on this side down and out so there you go, compact, lightweight, aerodynamic design, wind tunnel tested for optimal aerodynamics and reduced weight, CWR1 windshield, distortion free view, emergency quick release system, which is the padding here, boom and boom, 3D Max dry interior system, removable, washable, replaceable, absorbs, dissipates two times faster than traditional nylon. I'm going to have to get this thing all nice and outfitted with uh, my Senna, which will go so over here somewhere, and then I'm going to have to figure out a way to put the GoPro on there as well. Nice little carbon fiber accents. Man, that's nice. That was a nice helmet. So it is uh, Snell approved. It's got a nice neck roll. Padding here feels really super nice. Does have spots and little indentations for uh, the Senna speakers in there. Double D-ring system, pretty traditional stuff. Should have brought my helmet donut. Looking at what came with it here. Accessories bag. We've got a little chin curtain, which will definitely be going on there. Helps with the wind noise and uh, vlogging and such. Looks like we have a little top piece that go, would go right there. Right. Then we have, well, yeah, a couple showy stickers. Uh, silicone oil. How to use your helmet properly. Instructions for use. Cool. 
You know we got to throw some blackhead stickers on it. Whoops. Oh, yeah, those will fit real nice right there. Hell, yeah. Then we'll do that when we're setting it up for motor vlogging. That's crazy. What uh, what model is your helmet, Javi? AGV Naked Carbon? Oh, this thing is lightweight. But this thing is lighter weight. Lighter weight. Lighter -er weight. Maybe I should put the shield on there. Maybe that's... I mean, the shield doesn't weigh much, but... Show you guys how fast that changing process is. You saw me take it off. That's it. All right, so you hold both of those up. And tell me which one you think is lighter with the shield on it. I'm all, I'm all the same, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, about the same. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Click, 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 click. Got that city mode. I like how this locks down into place. It's a part of one GB. Yeah, you gotta re requires a tool. Dude, this is so easy. Press that back, pull these down, pops out, new one pops in. Even the tin advisor is a uh, pin lock. Hell you. Yeah. Probably gonna have to take the padding out, which let's figure out how to do that real quick. Alright, so coming in from the garage, just kinda wanted to take this thing apart in here since I'm gonna be setting it up in the house. And by setting up, I mean I'm gonna be taking the padding out, I'm going to be Giving you guys more of a uh, review. I'll list out some specs and all that good stuff. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and figure out how to get the padding out. Love these little helmet donut things, they're great. So I imagine it just snaps in, yep. Couple snaps there. Looks like there's some snaps in the back. Oh, let's go ahead and remove this visor. Let's see, how does it attach inside here? Okay, cool. It's one of those snap, snap in pieces. All right, so that is the head padding. Snap there and there. And then no snaps in the front, but it does have these little uh, plastic pieces that go into the head guard to prevent pressure. Where else, there we go. And they should pull out. Okay, cool. So that's how those are set up. So three snaps here. One, two, three. And then that goes, snaps into place along the back. That piece right there. And that snaps into right there. That's cool. I like that a lot, actually. I would imagine the same with this side. Yep. Yep. Same snaps. And you've got the uh, parts for the center speakers, the little cutouts there. I wonder, do they go there or do they go here? I imagine they probably go here. So they have padding right there, but there are like little indentations. Oh yeah, cool. So that just pulls out just like that. And then you have your opening right there. That's great. Hell yeah. So I'll definitely be taking those out. Same on this side, just so you guys can see how that's done. You just kind of press it inwards. There's those little tabs on the outside that hold it in. There you go. That's awesome. And it has little notches cut out for the wires too. That's really cool. Man, that is nice. All right, so this is what the inside of the helmet looks like. You don't have any like big channels for air or anything, but I have heard that the airflow in this helmet is really good. You can see it does have the big vents here for the brow vents. And then for the top vents, the holes that come all there. And then for the exhaust vents, holes there in the back. And it does have this exhaust vent right here. Just open and close. So that was really easy to take all that stuff out. That's awesome because you can take it out and it's washable. Wash it in the sink, warm soapy water, whatever. Get it all back together. Just as easy. See, that's cool. Like with my last helmet, you actually had to remember to put that in. But with these, you can just slide it over like that. And so pushing it into these spots. For a solid click into them. Nice. So the tension between those two points, pushing it together actually seats it so that it's in between the shell of the helmet and the padding on the inside. That's really smart. Then you've got button in the back, snap, button there, snap, and right here. Awesome. So you gotta put that f uh, the back one on first because it's a longer. There we go, you feel a snap into place. Press that one down. Bam. Nice and tucked in, that fits great. 
It's a nice helmet, man. They say once you invest into your first nice helmet that you really notice like the differences. Not a lie. Man, that was easy. There you go. That's how easy it is to break down, take apart, and put the uh, <laughs> the helmet back together if you need to like dismantle it, take it all apart to clean it and all that. All right, well, here's some specs on the helmet for you guys to check out, just so you guys know about it. But overall, man, I can't wait to get this thing all set up and uh, get to riding with it. Gonna be putting it through its paces this weekend, going on a ride on Sunday with, uh, I think we got like 10 people, so. Hell yeah. So yeah, we'll get it all set up with the pin lock lens and the mirrored lens, which is pin lock ready there and there. We'll get the uh, chin guard installed. Overall, man, solid looking helmet, very lightweight. I'll do a follow-up review video on it. And uh, I don't know, after I've worn it for a while, you guys look out for a review video of the current helmet that I have, which is the Bell Qualifier DLX with MIPS. I'll do a review on that one since uh, I've been wearing it for a while. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed the look at the Shoei RF1200. Uh, I'm really looking forward to putting it on, checking it out. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to post them up in the comments below. I will answer to the best of my knowledge. I will provide links to uh, everything in the description as well. If you guys are interested in the helmet, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you guys aren't subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well. And until next time, you guys ride safe out there. Wear your helmets, be vigilant, and I'll catch y'all later. Deuces.